How does sea ice form from fresh water while oceans are salty? About two-thirds of the Earth's permanent ice cap floats above polar waters as a thin layer of sea ice. Sea ice is frozen ocean water that floats on the surface of the ocean, and forms across the Arctic and Antarctic oceans. Although sea ice is vast, it accounts for about one one-thousandth of the total volume of ice on Earth. While snow and ice originate from precipitation, the primary source of sea ice formation is the crystallization of surface water, not precipitation. However, the most amazing part when it comes to sea ice is that despite being made of salty seawater, it is fresh water. This leads us to think about how this happened. Sea ice production is also an essential process on Earth for regulating ocean salinity. As during periods of global cooling, more ice forms over the oceans, making them saltier. In the warm summers, the ocean water becomes less salty due to the melting of ice and the addition of a huge amount of fresh water to it. First, before we get to the secret of the formation of sea ice from fresh water in the middle of the salty ocean, let us know how it is formed in the first place. How is sea ice formed? Ocean water freezes at lower temperatures than fresh water. Because of the presence of salt in it, salt water freezes at around minus 2 degrees Celsius, while fresh water freezes at around 0 degrees Celsius. However, since only the water element in the salty brine freezes, the ice contains relatively little salt. Consequently, it is possible to melt the ice in the seas and drink it directly as fresh water. But why is sea ice almost devoid of salt? The answer lies in the simple chemistry of the bonds between water and salt molecules. The presence of salt hinders the formation of ice crystals, and the salt prefers to mix with the water, but the water does not. Thus, the formation of pure ice now required an additional job, moving the salt out of the way and then building up the ice crystal structure. As a result, more coal is required to flush the salt away from the system so that crystals can form. What that means is that removing the salt from the water requires an extra step, which inevitably takes more energy. Once the ocean surface reaches the freezing point of salt water, any further cooling leads to the formation of ice. The first ice to arise is called frizzle ice, and it consists of fine crystalline particles and spikes up to 3 or 4 millimeters in diameter. When additional ice crystals develop, a soapy mixture forms on the ocean surface. After a continuous ice sheet forms, the cold environment is no longer directly associated with salt water, and sea ice growth continues to accumulate. During an annual Arctic cycle, about 45 centimeters of ice melts away from the ice surface, while an equivalent amount is replenished at the base. As a result, the ice crystal deposited at the base will travel up the ice column at an average speed of about 45 centimeters per year until it reaches the surface and melts. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel to receive all the upcoming videos.